How's it going guys? So we're at the coming to a castle down in Beer County, Offaly and the name of this castle is Clononi Castle okay and we have something special here today we're going through the little archway and this is the castle here itself and believe it or not there's actually a lady called Rebecca that actually lives in this castle she has restored it and she's been living in it the last 22 years so what we're going to do today is we're going to kind of get a, a little small interview with Rebecca and also her dog Oscar that has spent time in the movies as well so we'll get to see Oscar but as you can see it's being well kept flowers all around and she's actually going to take us inside to have a look at her home and she'll give us a bit of uh, history on this place okay this is actually Rebecca's cat as you can see very playful but it's all about getting this interview with Rebecca herself it's gonna be dead little small plaque that's at the front of the the gates there and as you can see Rebecca likes to do a bit of gardening and she has a beautiful garden here so just before the interview with her we're just going to show you a few little things here this is where her rhubarb is she grows her own rhubarb and what I have come across is a little small uh, replica of the castle so this is some sort of a little small garden this is where Rebecca probably enjoys a cup of tea another part of the garden down here I actually don't know what's under this but to me it looks like Rebecca does be spoiling herself with a little small jacuzzi lovely and these are her garden sheds I'll take it I reckon they're her showers So yeah, as you can see guys, she's starting to grow little small apples here as well. Guys, as promised, we're on our way into Clonone Castle here and we're going to meet the owner, Rebecca. And this is Rebecca here herself. Hello. So what Rebecca is going to do is she's going to bring us inside and we're going to have a look and she's going to give us a bit of history and then um, we'll take it from there, okay? Good. And thanks for having us in, Rebecca. Oh, you're very welcome. Now I'm wandering over this way because uh, this way I can point out the history to you. This is the only genuine Tudor castle in Ireland. Now it's not Tudor by period, it's medieval but it's Tudor because Henry VIII's family actually lived here. And anywhere that Henry's family lived is a Tudor residence. Now at the time that Henry was rather fancying Anne Boleyn, wife two of six, she wasn't royal. So he had seized this castle from the Cocklands, the original castle builders, uh, and he gave it to her father, Thomas Boleyn, making him the Earl of Ormond making her a countess and marriageable by a king. And that all worked out very well for, um, I believe the phrase is a thousand days. And then he got tired of her and chopped off her head and her brother's head and her cousin's head and her sister-in-law's head. So the Boleyns were leaving England like it was on fire. And these two ladies are the countesses, Mary and Elizabeth Boleyn. They would be great grand nieces to Queen Anne and cousins to Queen Elizabeth I. So this is a very royal castle and uh, 
that's why it's rather posh looking I thought it should be okay so uh, Rebecca herself uh, moved into this place in 2002 was it yes. 2002 and um, she restored this place herself so basically she's going to show up show us where she fixed up the roof and um, she's going to show us um, where she stays and does her cooking and everything else so as you see, <coughs> see here sorry <laughs> I'm wrecking the house on our here. This is our dining room here. Am I right? <laughs> well, it's one of the reception rooms. One of the reception rooms. Oh yeah, and just just as I'm talking, what I want to say is this place is actually no charge coming in. But if you want, you can leave a donations, okay? And um, there's a little small box at the door there, and we're going to do it ourselves on our way out, okay? So Rebecca, if you want to lead us up the stairs there. Oh, Oscar. Oh, yeah. He's the movie star. He's absolutely exhausted. I say so. And Oscar has actually starred in a few movies himself. Okay. So, as you can see, the place is looking well. As long as you don't How old is the castle, um, Rebecca? It was, it was originally built in the 1490s. The 1490s, okay. Moves all the stairwell. So we're just going up the stairs here, guys. We're polished by visitors, not me. Yeah. <laughs> now, Rebecca, I'm just going to get you to um, explain about the roof there itself. Yes, this vaulted ceiling, when I came uh, the stones were hanging down 8 to 10 inches with big spaces in between each stone. Uh, there was very little plaster left. Uh, it has to be repaired with a special lime putty mortar that you mix by hand by the bucket. Uh, then you take an inch, about an inch of the mortar and you put it between the stones. Helps if you have little hands like mine and a piece of rubble, and that's all you could do that day. And you go all the way across the vault. And then you wait two or three days for it to dry, and then you do it again, and again, and again, times 10. So, it took me a whole year just to do the vaulted ceiling. Then once I got the strength in the vault, uh, I spent two more years on the walls above to get them strong enough to hold a roof because the roof had been gone for oh, about a hundred years. So it was a lot of work, but mostly because I had to do it all by myself. You can't hire anyone to help you because then the health and safety rules kick in and the expense of that will bankrupt you. So it's kind of um, slow and steady, an inch at a time, and eventually 10 years, uh, on the structural work. Uh, um, that was nearly 10 years ago now. So I've been, after that I did the outbuildings, the barn walls, that sort of thing. But, uh, you know, the pressure was off. Yeah. So, guys, I'm just going to show you here. Uh, Rebecca was telling us earlier on about the fireplace here because we were asking her um, how cold it gets here um, because it's absolutely freezing up here right now. And she says um, that she gets through this. And you want to explain to us, Rebecca, what how you get through with the cold? Well, um, behind that paint picture is a wood stove. So it's not correct for the period. When I close to visitors in October, I move the picture, I light the wood stove, and that stays going until May when I open to the visitors and I put the picture back in front of it again. So every single day has to be uh, stoking the fires. And that's not enough. Um, it's another 30 steps up to the private residence where I work and I'm not carrying. It's 50 steps from the ground up. Yeah. I'm not carrying fuel for that. So I have a couple of electric radiators and they're very expensive. And uh, so I work on 
um, a laptop, on a bed tray, on an electric blanket. And I'm very focused. I just, you know, it's, it's the only warm place to be, so I'm there a lot. I have a kitchen on each floor. So I have, the main kitchen is here, and then I discovered when I first moved in that, um, you know the midnight munchies? Yeah. Uh, Very well. Well, it's 30 steps down to the kitchen, and it's 30 <laughs> back up again. Yeah, I'm not that hungry. So the first week, I put in um, just a small snack kitchen with staples, you know, Ben and Jerry's, microwave popcorn, that sort of thing, just to get you through the night. Okay, so Rebecca, is it okay just to just have a little small look at the kitchen there, just to show the people, or is it messy? Uh... Oh, it's probably messy, <laughs> but you can show them. Yeah, look. But the only reason okay. I have a, a curtain is because it's a modern kitchen. Kind of spoils the audience. Now, guys, so as you can see here, this is the and kitchen. The only reason the kitchen is messy is because you came just as I was getting my dinner. <laughs> Come here, it's not messy at all to me here, and I'd say the YouTubers will agree to that as well. It's actually very, very nice, especially in the castle. So there's the outside of the castle there. Um, I know it would be nice to <laughs> walk up the stairs with a breakfast with. <laughs> yeah, so guys, this is Rebecca herself. Uh, she's been living here the last 22 years and um, she's been kind of renovating it the last 40, is it? Yeah, so she, she kind of moved into this place and as she said about all the heating and everything else, she's kind of used to all, all of this now. And um, if you ever do travel here to Ireland, uh, come to County Offaly in Beer, and the name of the castle is Clononi. Clononi, okay. Um, it's there's no admission fee, as I said earlier on, and um, she welcomes you as the way she welcomed us into this place because we actually came in and asked her for permission to fly the drones, and that's exactly what she's going to get after this interview, okay. So I hope you enjoy it and um, get, leave a comment in the, the box below and just to say hello to Rebecca herself and uh, we'll take it from there, okay? Oh, and also I'm only open on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, noon to five and any other time uh, by appointment. Now, so there you go guys, okay? So Rebecca, thanks very much for your, um, your time. My pleasure and um, we'll keep in contact with you and we'll take it from there okay right. cheers
Thank you.